BBC recognised world title. That was on May 25, 1974. Valdez won by KO in round seven. Mundine on October 5 the same year met the real champion Monzen in a title fight in Buenos Aires and he too lost by a KO in round seven. On June 26, 1976, Monzen outpointed Valdez to prove his ownership of the world middleweight title and on July 30, 1977, he again outpointed Valdez, after which Monzen announced his retirement. On November 5, 1977, Valdez met Briscoe for the vacant title as recognised by both the WBC and WBA. Valdez won on points. Mundine lost this fight with Briscoe, being counted out while on one knee in the fifth round. But to then the Australian had been doing all right. And notice, he is very, very good. Mundine has been a light heavyweight champion. Or well, since mid-1975, he's been a light heavyweight, won the Australian light heavyweight title in October that year, and is seeking a world title fight in that division. He was to have met British light heavyweight champion Bunny Johnson last October, but Tony received a cut eye in a winning fight in Numea, and Johnson contest was postponed to November 30. And that's when the trouble started, you know all about it. Young promoter Peter Foster could not get a license to promote in Queensland. He switched to Sydney with the Horton Pavilion being the venue and set a new date, January 25. Mundine was not available. In fact, there was a disagreement between promoter Foster and Mundine's management. A rift development was widened by Foster's statement that Mundine was afraid of Johnson. No way. Foster presented his first promotion last Sunday afternoon, postponed from January 25. Money Johnson met American Mike Quarry at the Horton Pavilion. It was a contest between a stalker, Johnson, and a talker, Quarry. The stalker won a rather one-sided bout, which was stopped in round seven. Quarry, a couple of minutes later, said over the microphone, since I came to England, I've been very happy because people in England are so friendly. He should have examined his passport or his air ticket. Foster, after the fight, again challenged Mundine on behalf of Johnson. He told me he had offered Mundine $30,000 to meet Johnson. He must really want Mundine. Johnson is a confident fighter with a very hard left hook, but I believe that Tony Mundine would be too good for him now. Have a look at him. He's much faster than Johnson. He was then, still is. There's a... Wins, one draw, nine...